is Tariq Talk. Your host, Tariq Mendez, takes you on a journey with guests from all around the world. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. This is Tariq Talk. Hey guys, I'm so happy to be here today with Jay Golden. He's uh, I'm at the Mena Contemporary, and he's part one of the artists of the SCAF, yeah. SCAF um, residencies. And I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much for being here, oh, Jay. Thank you for having me. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. A little cool, bit cool. tired, but a little bit tired. You yeah. got this. You got yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I know today is the the closing reception, so I um, we're here like early in the morning. So I really appreciate you taking the time for me to oh, yeah, no do this interview prior because I know you must be so busy with like getting the studio ready and everything yeah. like that. Right. So do you want to start off telling us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I'm um, Jay Golding. I'm a figurative artist. A lot of my work is kind of inspired by my Jamaican heritage, infused with the influence that African culture has had in my life since I was a child. So oh, wow. a lot of my stuff, um, you'll see figures wearing masks from Africa, um, Mexico. I was recently there during the pandemic. So just the inspiration I got from being there and the people and some of the ceremonies I did just started to seep into the work and that's actually been the biggest inspiration so far in the series that I'm working on. But yeah, you, know, you know, from Jersey for the most part, um, I left Jamaica when I was seven and throughout my life I was, I used to draw on and off, didn't really, it wasn't something that I really looked at as a career mm -hmm. and it wasn't until after I left high school where I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do and I just said, you know what, let me study art. Yeah. And after I went to, I studied at Keene. After I went to Keene and just had really good mentors that kind of helped me just um, learn the basic fundamentals. It just pushed me to really take it another step further. Oh, well, that's dope. And do you think being from another culture has like influenced your work? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, even just, I think even just the way that I, um, interact with other people and interact with people from different cultures it's it's kind of for me it feels more natural because yeah. i i remember just coming here being an immigrant and, yeah. and going to school for the first time and having a heavy accent and yeah, seeing yeah. how people responded to the way that i spoke and so whenever i go other places and meet other people from other cultures it's just there's that um relationship i feel that i just automatically have with them mm -hmm. That's really dope. Thank you for sharing that. And what's your creative process like in your studio? Are you uh, like an artist that go in the morning? Like, do you prefer to work in the morning, the nighttime, the afternoon? So it, it kind of changes. It shifts. Um, I go through like, I go through these weird shifts where sometimes I like to work very early and then other times I'll be up late. Um, as, of, as of lately, um, it's been more, I come in in the morning. And then by like 5, 6 p.m., I'm usually out of the studio. Oh, wow. And then I just go and rest. And, but then there's some, there's some moments where, for whatever reason, I'll just be up late till like 3 a.m. sometimes. Oh, wow. And I'll just be like a night owl. So I go through these weird back and forth shifts within um, just how I, how I stay up at night or just morning person, night person, yeah. morning person, night person. On so you're just so like basically like spontaneous. You yeah. Just let yeah, I just kind of let the, especially creatively, yeah. I would say especially creatively, I, um, a lot of times now I like to just allow um, whatever that creative flow is at the moment, I, I kind of let that set the pace and then I just meet it, meet it halfway and just work yeah. with it from there. Oh, that's pretty dope. And then do you get inspired by like um, other people, like you're an artist that you kind of have to be by yourself or do you enjoy like having people around you or pets or anything like that? Um, so that's another one where it's kind of like both like with this residency, it's been mm -hmm. beautiful because all the other artists, it's such an international group as well. So yeah. I've just been learning a lot from all the other artists. Like I'll take a break sometimes when I'm painting and go sit with Louise. Oh, or wow. Leonard, Shout out to Louis. Yeah. Or Leonard, Patricia, yeah. and just we'll have conversations and, um, we'll, we'll give each other feedback on our work. So mm -hmm. having that has been very great because the last time I had something like that was when I was actually studying in school. And so it's, it's, I can, I can go without that, but it feels really great to have it. So yeah. I think the main thing is just that balance. Yeah. And when you get in the studio, like how, what's your routine? Like, do you get to work right away? Do you need like a coffee, like read the paper, you know, chill out for an okay. hour? Um, it's usually tea. Like I'll usually, okay. um, if I get here before everyone else, 
I usually just, you know, just unwind a little bit and um, just kind of look at some of the pieces that I started working on and just kind of take it in. And usually I'll go over to where Louise is because she has the um, she has the, the, the tea maker. Uh-huh. So I will usually go over there and oh, start making tea. Cool. And then she usually come in right around that time and we'll yeah. have a chat. And then I'll usually get to work. You know, I have to share something. You have, like, very good energy and very good vibes. Oh, thank you. And I swear, like, everybody that has good energy and good vibes, they always start, like, the, the, they're an artist. They always start with tea. So that's yeah. so funny because I just recently observed that, like, interviewing different people or, like, going to my friend's studio. Yeah. Like, when I see tea, I'm like, oh, you know, I can always tell because they're chill. But when I see coffee, I'm like, okay, they're going to they're oh, more, yeah. like, get to work. They don't have patience because I'm like that. Like, I drink, yeah, like, five like espressos <laughs> in the moment, in the morning. I don't have patience for anything until I get to work. Leonard's like that. Leonard loves coffee. Yeah. And he's always him and um Patricia, they both are coffee drinkers. Okay. And did you ever have like did you ever do a collaboration with any artists, like painting wise or art making? Yeah. Um so I have a bunch of collaborations actually and that's something that I've been thinking about um lately about actually presenting that soon. So the last collaboration I did man, had to be about Last year, actually, um, a friend of mine who's in, he lives in Bushwick. He goes, he's an um, amazing tattoo artist. He actually did these two tattoos. Right well, I was checking it out. That's yeah. dope. He goes by Above the Spell. And oh, so wow, this is cool, too. Yeah. That looks like, what is that? It kind of looks like Polynesian-inspired. So that's like, he, he can probably tell you better, but that's like some of these, he calls it like his cosmic symbols. Uh-huh. And so he creates them. He told me that this little... Um, triangle right here is a mushroom actually oh that's dope and, and these are like some of his characters that he creates so that's really dope. amazing artist we're talking about his tattoos right now and if you're comfortable i'd love to share those on instagram so people get a, a oh, yeah, live and they know what we're talking yeah, about no that's problem. pretty dope because that kind of looks like a little more akami but like more more like fun and chill you know which one this one yeah that one yeah yeah like the like the yeah you would love his work i'll show you his work that's really cool yeah we'll definitely share that on the instagram and then also, like, who, who, who's your influences? Like, who are you inspired by? Is it, like, only the art world, music, fashion, architect? Mm, okay, so I'm going to start with the art for a little bit. So um, in terms of, like, the paint, you know, painters and things mm-hmm. like that, um, it's a mixture. It was, um, when I was in school, I studied Caravaggio a lot, just, like, his techniques. Um, Frida Kahlo in mm-hmm. terms of... Um, just her ability to express her emotions. I really like that about yeah. her. So I kind of like studied that about her and just like tapped into that to just really be more vulnerable with some of my work. Um, Picasso came a little bit later. Mm-hmm. I didn't really care for Picasso when I was in school, um, but a little bit of Van Gogh, Michelangelo, like some, you know, um, Norman Rockwell. One of my um, mentors is actually, he studied under Rockwell, so mm-hmm. um, learned a lot from him. And as of um, lately, there's a bunch of artists that I've just been finding through Instagram. So a bunch of the young artists that are doing things now. Um, one is um, Rayless Vasquez. He's an amazing Dominican artist. Um, Kyrie Turner, Chloe Wise. There's so much. There's so many artists. And then in terms of fashion, I'm not really, I'm not a heavy, I'm not really, my cousin is more into fashion. So I'm not really, I don't really follow fashion brands, but in terms of fashion, I would say, like, if I just see anything that's kind of, like, African-inspired in mm-hmm. some way or even, like, anything that has, like, a ninja aesthetic, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm drawn oh, to. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm very drawn to those types of looks. So sometimes I, um, I play off of that a little bit and mm-hmm. try to incorporate some of those to my works, like, um, even, like, ancient Greek mythology armor. Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes oh, I'll dope. blend that and yeah. blend it with African culture um, types of fashion and put that on some of the characters because um, mythology is also another theme that yeah. is very like woven into my work so. yeah you should come to Brazil have, like a lot I have of, friends in Brazil yeah. now so I'm definitely yeah, gonna to visit check it out. Yeah, yeah. we'll definitely like link up and stuff that, is that there. where you're from yeah I'm from Brazil yeah, 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 yeah. Kill me, I need to go yeah like, I feel like you would love like the north yeah um art and architecture because it's very much like as you mentioned before yeah my friend Matthew who's there now he was actually so Two years ago, like during the pandemic, or three mm-hmm. years now, I would say, um, left Jersey for a little bit with um, a cousin, my cousin, and some friends, and went to California just to be there for a month, and then that turned into four months. Oh wow! And then I ended up in Tulum. Oh for like wow! Four months. That's amazing. And during that four months time in Tulum, my friend Matthew, who was with us, he met um, someone Laiz, who's Brazilian, mm-hmm. and 
he ended up going out there with her and they, no have, they have a baby now. Wow. And so they always tell me, you need to come, you need to yeah. come. And Matthew says all the time, like, Brazil is just like a bigger Jamaica. That's yeah. what he always tells me. Yeah, we have like a huge um, Jamaican population. Like one of my yeah. mom's best friends, she met this lady, she was Jamaican. And they were both like, give, they met, they were both pregnant and about to give birth. So they just, I guess, met somehow, somehow each other yeah. in the hospital. And me and her kids are still friends to this day. Wow. She taught me like the That's joke and twist. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like a lot of stuff, like a lot of like slangs and stuff. Yeah. But it's always the best with the best culture. Like, I love how like the family orientation is, you know, yeah. how everybody's so close to help. Like, even with strangers, like they just help up everybody that yeah. needs help. I really admire that. And going back to the residency, like, what's next for you here? Like after uh, this, so after this, um, you know, one of my I've been just really looking at um, doing getting some more opportunities in New York, you know. So there are a few galleries and just resident other residencies and other opportunities that I've been just looking to apply to and and, and getting going. And um, tomorrow I actually have a show at um, Aquaba Gallery in Newark. Oh wow! Okay. So yeah. So and how long would that show last for? That show's up until. Um, the end of July, I believe. It's a part of... There's, like, a festival going on right now. North, It's called North to Shore. Oh, I don't know. And it's, like, a three-city between Asbury Park, Newark, and... I can't remember the third city. Asbury Park, Newark, and another city. And they have, like, different performances going yeah. on in different um, parts oh, of Oh, that's this. dope. Yeah. Yeah. So her show is in conjunction with um, Aquaba Gallery. run by a Caribbean um, oh, wow. curator. That's Laura, really cool. Laura Palmer, yeah. And so she's having... It's a group show with me and a bunch of other artists okay. from Jersey. And, and That's so really cool. Definitely honored to be a part of that show. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely excited. If I'm, I might be away, but I'll definitely try to make to make it. Um, and I'll share that on Instagram, too, if you're comfortable with that. Yeah, of course. But what I wanted to ask also is you mentioned that you're in California and Tulum. Do you find um, that experience and that traveling like somehow ends up in your work? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Um, I did so much work in California, and um, I actually is. I met a really amazing family there that they still um, they've been looking after a lot of the work I did when I was there because shipping is so expensive. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah, um, with California, the early months that I was there, I did a couple um, landscape paintings mm-hmm. of just my environment. So um, I did one of the beach as well, and so. That was pretty much where it stopped in terms of um, the California in, um, influence in that work. But Mexico, definitely, um, a lot of the culture there definitely seeped into my work, even till now. Um, just like the Mayan culture. And um, after I left Tulum, I went to Jamaica for six months and then I went back to Mexico and then I was in the... Um, um, I was in Merida, like that okay. region. Oh, you could yeah. Say, oh, I love it over there. I haven't been, but I heard it's beautiful. Yeah, you would love it. Yeah. You would love it. The oh, culture out there is so yeah, rich. Yeah, like, I love the, Mexico, yeah. The art, the music. Like, one time I was walking down the street, and there was just this guy walking, just playing um, a saxophone. Uh-huh. Just very casual. Yeah, and they yeah. Had this beautiful, they had this beautiful um, jazz club. And restaurant. Oh wow! And it's open to like I think like three a.m. Wow! And so like they have like an upstairs rooftop area where you just have bands from all over. That's just so amazing. Yeah. Wow. One of the it's, I think and my friend Rodrigo was actually telling me that. Um, Is he Brazilian? No, he's um he's from Guadalajara. His oh, okay. his father's from Spain and his mother is. Um, no, that's gonna like a very common like uh, yeah Brazilian name. Rodrigo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but um he was telling me that Merida is actually like basically the safest city in Mexico mm-hmm. and beautiful yeah it was, it, there's actually some elements of it too that kind of remind me of being here like the northeast yeah just some of their downtown areas there would be times where I felt like I was in yeah. um, Jersey City a little bit uh-huh. and just beautiful the architecture everything gotcha yeah that's yeah. dope and then going back to uh, ideas and inspirations where does ideas come for you like because you mentioned you travel a lot um, that's where my ideas come from when I'm in motion like in a plane or driving yeah. where do ideas come for you like is it like when you're sleeping when you're just like chilling out or what's that process like for you yeah um it's a mixture sometimes when i'm taking a shower um sometimes from books Mm -hmm. so like i'll keep certain books around me um just for especially um like i i have books that have like a lot of african art in there masks and so sometimes i'll pull from that sometimes a thought will just come to me just randomly (laughs) 
you know, and sometimes it really is just those things traveling, sitting on a bus somewhere in Mexico and just looking out the window yeah. and just seeing a scene, just seeing like a family walking or yeah, something yeah. and all of a sudden like an idea comes to me. So it's, it And what's comes the process like for you? Do you like write the idea down? Do you like leave it in your head to like incubate? Do you go to like your notes app or like how does it work for you? Like when you see something? Um, some t- a lot of time I like to take pictures. So if it's something that, if it's if it's like a if I'm like looking at something specific in my environment and I'm like oh whoa this and this I mean, is the idea yeah. I'll take a picture of that and then I'll add on to it with other ideas or um, gotcha. sometimes even when I'm in the studio and I'm in the process of creating um, other ideas will just come in the midst of while I'm painting and then mm-hmm. I'll just either remove something and add yeah. that to it or just add that onto what I was already doing. And I have a question. You mentioned sometimes you get in early and you leave by six or five ish. Yeah. How do you hand? Because I get like a lot of people ask this question. Like tells me, ask me to ask the people I interview. Like how are you? How do you handle like when you go to a studio, you show up, you do the work, but then like it, it's just like an off day. Like how are you able to bounce back from that? Like do you kind of push yourself to stay there until the product is finished, or do you like chill out and come back? Like try to try to come back a different yeah, day. Yeah, I usually chill out. Um, and the cool thing about being here at Eskif and. Um, having the other artists around is that sometimes I use that as time to just go sit down and see what Leonard's doing or okay. have a chat with Louise. Me and Louise, um, we, we've had, like, we bonded the most out of um, everyone here. So we have a lot of talks just about, you know, African culture. Sometimes she'll, like, share her insights with me. Um, sometimes I'll just look at her work and oh, just that's give beautiful. feedback. Yeah, you guys should do a collab. Yeah. Yeah. That would be yeah, amazing. I think that would be great, too. Yeah, that would be dope. See if she has time. I, know, I think she's leaving well, next Wednesday, so okay. we'll see. And then this residency, um, I believe today like today is the last day. Is that correct? So today, Yeah, today is the closing reception. Closing but, reception. Um, the 28th, which is next Wednesday, is, is like the final the day. Last so day. that's when we move everything out. And another group is going to come for, I think they have a July, they have a summer residency. Oh, okay. Got you. Yeah. And then can you share with us your Instagram and website just so, because you have, like, the f- events coming up so people can, like, keep track and attend yeah. your upcoming show? Yeah, definitely. So the um, the Instagram is jgoldingart, J-A-Y-G-O-L-D-I-N-G-A-R-T, and the website is jgolding.art. Got it. And then if people want to reach out for you to, uh, for commission, are you open to, like, commission? Because I had a previous at, guest. Um, at the moment, I'm not doing commissions, but... Hey, I mean, if the, if the price sounds, yeah, yeah. sounds the idea appealing, is dope. then yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay, sounds so. good. Um, do you want to share with us what you're working on in the moment? Yeah, so um, right now, one of, the, one of the series out of the many that I'm working on is um, it's a series of this royal family, and they're from a village called Magia Blue, which is, that's Swahili. Louise has also oh, been wow. helping with Swahili, yeah. So a lot of the works out title and give Swahili titles and things of that nature, and they a lot of these characters they have purple skin and um they have their own symbols so i you know these are all symbols that i've created myself and mm-hmm. just gave gave meaning to oh, wow. as well so it's going to be like a whole universe and what kind of medium do you use do you like do you have a preference it's like between oil or acrylic or so oil sticks oil is my oil is like my my ultimate favorite but um I haven't been using oil much in the past few years um because it was just easier to travel and use acrylic yeah. And so, um, I've just still been like yeah, in that yeah, zone of just gotcha, gotcha. using acrylic. But um, I think after after this residency ends this summer, I'm just gonna go right back to mostly doing oils. Got you. But, yeah. And will you be based like in Jersey or? Yeah, I'll be in Jersey for. Um, I want to say through the fall. Um, I do have some plans to travel, but things have been falling through a lot recently mm-hmm. so i don't know it's kind of like up in the air got you i'm supposed and to be going to ghana at some point oh that's so yeah. amazing oh wow that's so yeah, cool that's also another place that's that's like heavily inspires me yeah my work are you doing like a residency there no so in ghana um uh, my aunt i have family there oh so wow my aunt she's um my mother's sister she's um she's she's had land in ghana for years and during the pandemic she moved out there for good Mm -hmm. and she's building a village so oh wow yeah she um she granted me a a piece of land oh wow that's so beautiful that's amazing congrats i have to go over there and like survey and look at the land and figure out how i want to build and things of that nature yeah please take as many pictures as you can so we can like live through you and your adventures there that would be dope 
Yeah. Jay, thank you so much for being on the podcast. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Likewise. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. I'm thank so you. excited um, for everybody to come check your workout today at the Mana Eskif. Uh, Eskif reception. Um, congrats on that again. And it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you for being on the podcast. Likewise. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Tariq Talk. Follow Tariq Talk on all social media channels and check out the video interviews online.